There's been a lot of excitement this year, especially about how well the second stage performed. After the success of the sixth flight, considered the best landing attempt to date, SpaceX transitioned Starship to its version 2 configuration. This version brings many important improvements that should make the spacecraft stronger and more complete than ever. It's important to consider how far we've come. Let's discuss all of this in today's episode of NR Studio. In most of the version 1 flights we've reviewed, the heat shield system didn't perform as well as we'd hoped. This causes spacecraft to break up during the challenging conditions of re-entry. On the other hand, this year's new V2 flights haven't progressed far enough into their missions to properly test re-entry. This often happens because they lose control before reaching that stage. So, many of the planned improvements haven't been tested in real-life flight conditions. That's why people have higher expectations for the 10th flight than ever before. With the recent improvements to Starship's heat shield, often referred to as its protective coating, there's renewed hope that these improvements will prove useful during re-entry. Recent photos of Spacecraft 37, now in Mega Bay 2 for final inspection and installation before the static fire test, have revealed some interesting new updates. One of the biggest changes is in the A section of the spacecraft, where the heat shield tiles now have small white circular markings. This unique feature wasn't found on previous models, and likely serves to strengthen the tile system at points most vulnerable to high heat. We can't see the entire Spacecraft 37 yet, because it's deep inside Mega Bay 2. However, we can get a better look at Spacecraft S38, which likely shares many of the same features. On Spacecraft 38, the white lines between the tiles are now much more visible. These lines suggest that SpaceX has improved the quality of the glue or sealant used between the tiles, likely by using a stronger binder or filler. This change was first seen on Spacecraft 36 and appears to be a common design feature on later models. We'll await a more detailed explanation from SpaceX in their pre-flight update, but the implications are clear. This improvement aims to reduce tile shifting and reduce the chance of heat escaping upon re-entry. In addition to these changes, SpaceX will likely retain some improvements from the previous flight that haven't been fully tested yet. One such change involves rounding and narrowing the edges of the tile lines across the entire surface of the spacecraft. This design was chosen because hot spots were observed during re-entry on the previous flight. This change likely relates to the white lines now visible between the tiles, as both are designed to make the exterior more heat resistant. Another area under study is the structure beneath the tiles. This includes parts designed to absorb and dissipate heat. Last year, Musk said that these improvements could make the heat shield system twice as strong. While eliminating tiles entirely for a more connected system is still a long way off, these small changes are helping to build toward that future. One of the biggest recent improvements is the use of metallic heat shield tiles. SpaceX has announced that some tiles, believed to be made of stainless steel, the same material used for the Starship hull, have been installed, replacing the traditional ceramic tiles. These metal tiles are part of a new experiment that has an actively operating cooling system. SpaceX says this is a different way to protect Starship during its return to Earth, and it's likely to become a common practice in the future. Choosing metal over ceramic has many advantages. Ceramic is great at retaining heat, but stainless steel offers a good combination of strength, heat resistance, and ease of manufacture. Its robust structure and easy-to-manufacture design make it perfect for large, budget-conscious projects like Starship. Most importantly, stainless steel is much cheaper to produce than ceramic. A primary goal of the Starship program is to reduce costs. The use of cheaper yet reliable materials has been a major success in the program's expansion. The metal heat shield is one of the most significant improvements in Starship's development. Metal tiles are easier to maintain than ceramic tiles. Unlike ceramic tiles, which require careful inspection after each flight, metal tiles can be reused multiple times with significantly less maintenance. SpaceX says the metal shield can potentially withstand 50 flights before requiring significant repairs or repairs. This capability represents a significant improvement in operational efficiency and sustainability, especially considering the extensive work required to maintain the ceramic tile system. The ceramic heat shield on Starship currently uses over 18,000 individual tiles. Beneath these tiles is a complex and delicate system that must function flawlessly even under high temperatures and pressures. After each flight, the SpaceX team must inspect each tile for damage or looseness. This is time-consuming and costly. Furthermore, the risk of error increases with so many components involved. Even a small crack or loose tile can cause major problems during descent. 
The metal heat shield helps mitigate many of these issues. Because it's stronger and has fewer weak points, it requires far fewer detailed post-flight inspections. This helps SpaceX achieve faster flight time, which is crucial for their long-term plans. Missions requiring rapid and regular launches, such as inter-Earth transport or scheduled launches to Mars, could benefit greatly from this system. Less maintenance means lower costs and more flight opportunities, helping SpaceX move closer to its goal of making space travel as common as flying on airplanes. To fully understand the benefits, we need to look at the material's fundamental qualities. Stainless steel may not withstand heat as well as ceramic, but it is extremely strong and durable. Unlike ceramic, which easily breaks when stressed, metal can bend and absorb force without breaking. Furthermore, metal is an excellent heat conductor, allowing for new ways to manage temperature. SpaceX plans to use liquids in Starship, namely liquid methane and liquid oxygen, to help cool it upon return to Earth. When the metal tiles heat up, a special extremely cold fuel can be directed underneath to absorb the heat. When heated, the propellant turns back into a gas and can be sent to the engines for combustion. This method not only keeps the spacecraft safe, but also makes it more efficient by reducing waste and reusing fuel. Another lesser known benefit of stainless steel is its increased strength at extremely high or low temperatures. Material studies have shown that when stainless steel is exposed to high heat during re-entry, it can crystallize, making it stronger. This contradicts the common belief that stainless steel weakens or burns when exposed to high temperatures. Instead, stainless steel may actually become stronger, making it a better choice for use as a heat shield. However, the system has its issues. SpaceX stated that it needs more testing and refinement. In a previous flight update, the company stated that it had removed many of the heat shield tiles on Starship. The official purpose was to examine weak areas of the spacecraft during re-entry, but it was likely also to test how well the stainless steel performs under harsh conditions. By leaving some areas exposed, engineers can learn more about how the underlying structure reacts when exposed to extreme heat. One problem with current metal tiles is that they are difficult to see. Ceramic tiles often crack and show obvious signs of damage. Metal tiles, on the other hand, can bend or weaken without visible damage. This makes early detection of problems difficult. Worse yet, if metal tiles melt or break, it can cause problems for surrounding systems because the metal can conduct electricity and spread the problem. Addressing these risks is crucial before metal heat shields can be widely used. Despite these challenges, SpaceX is still installing metal tiles on several parts of the new Starship to test their performance during actual flights. These systems will be tested again on future flights. To be considered successful, the heat shield must protect the spacecraft throughout its flight, withstand the harsh environment of space, and most importantly, remain strong enough to withstand the powerful forces of re-entry so it can safely land in the ocean. Are you interested in seeing what this new heat shield system can do? Let us know in the comments by saying try it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with all the amazing things happening with SpaceX. The latest upgrades to the Starship heat shield are more than just preparation for the next flight. They represent a significant shift in SpaceX's goal of achieving true reusability and longer missions. If the 10th flight goes well, these improvements may be used on more parts of the spacecraft. This will make it easier to compare the current ceramic tiles with the new metal ones. This metal heat shield is particularly interesting. It's designed to last longer and be more durable, meaning fewer repairs will be needed between future flights. Unlike smooth ceramic tiles that need to be inspected and replaced regularly, the metal tiles are stronger and more durable. This can save maintenance time and help with mission efficiency. The real challenge, however, is what happens after surviving re-entry. The goal is for the spacecraft to circle Earth and return, not to the ocean, but directly to its launch site, landing with precision thanks to Mechazilla's arm. This task requires a strong, heat-resistant structure and impeccable handling. The heat shield needs to ensure that, if future flights involve cargo deliveries, the situation becomes even more severe. The heat shield needs to keep the spacecraft and its cargo safe under extremely harsh conditions, pushing performance to its maximum. SpaceX estimates this based on tests they conducted last year. In those tests, the shield material was exposed to flames that were as hot as or hotter than actual re-entry temperatures. The cracks were likely intentionally created to test the material strength and help improve it. These improvements also allow for mission-specific heat shield designs. Ceramic tiles could be used for flights in low Earth orbit, 
while metal tiles could be used for starships heading to Mars. This modular design makes the fleet more flexible and allows SpaceX to tailor vehicles to the specific challenges of different destinations. The new heat shield isn't just about better hardware. This shows how Starship is gradually becoming a more reliable, flexible, and ambitious system. The rocket's outer shell protects its body, its mission, its payload, and its destination. Flight 10 will be a testing ground. Whether the system performs well or has issues, the data collected will help improve future versions. Each test brings SpaceX closer to realizing fast, cheap, and long-distance space travel. Progress happens step by step, not all at once. It's like a suit of armor, a proven weapon, protecting a rocket designed to carry our dreams to new places and bring us home safely. That's all for today's episode. See you next time, and thank you all for your support.